Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Hapara focus session specifically for iReady. Okay, so to start off, you have to make sure that you have your students already in a Google Classroom. And then Hapara uses those Google Classrooms to import the list of students. So I'm gonna assume in this video, you've already added those classes from Google Classroom into Hapara. Once you've done that, make sure you select that class from this drop-down list up here. Next, you should click on Highlights. And then you're gonna to wanna to go over to the right-hand side to where it says Guide Browsing. Now click on Set Up a Focus Session. And here's where you're gonna enter your links. So for the Fleetwood Area School District, we have the students going through Clever in order to get to iReady. So you gotta make sure you put in Clever first. So I'm gonna put that website in. Hit Enter. The next address that you're gonna need is the iReady login link and hit enter. So what's gonna happen is both of these links will open up once you start the focus session. You wanna make sure you direct the kids to go to the Clever tab that opens and then click on iReady through the Clever tab. Tell them not to use the login page that pops up the login tab where it asks them to put in their user information. They should not do that. Instead, direct them to go through Clever. So next, you're gonna enter your amount of minutes that you'd like the students to be working on this. I'm just gonna put 10 as an example. And you could actually start the session right now, but what we're gonna do instead is let's save this as a template and then we can use it again real easily the next time you need the students to be working on iReady. So click Save as a Template and you're gonna write in here the template name. I'm just gonna call it iReady. Click Save. And now you can click Start Session. And that's it. That's how you set up that session. That should work. It will open up those tabs. Again, direct them towards the Clever tab, and then they would use the link that's in Clever for iReady to get onto their iReady account. Last thing is, if you click on Guide Browsing again the next day or the next time that you need them to be working on iReady, now you'll see the templates down at the bottom. These are templates I've already created. Here's the iReady template that I just created. If I click on that, it opens it back up. And you can see here, I can adjust the time before I start the session, and I can make any other adjustments to the settings I need to before I start the session. But what's nice is it saves the addresses that we put in there. Hope that video was helpful to you. If you have any more questions, please feel free to email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.